According to the group Kids and Cars, a shocking 804 children have died after being left in hot cars since 1994. That's dreadful. Our next guest has invented a device that can help prevent this. He's 11 years old. His name is Bishop Curry, and he joins us now with his mama, Tia. Welcome, everyone. It's great to have you on the show. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Okay, Bishop, let me see if I've got this right. Your device is installed in a car, the car gets very, very hot, and an alarm is sounded with mom and dad and with the cops. That's the device? That's how it works? Yes, because you um, attach it to the headrest's car, and it has a temperature gauge to see if it gets at a certain temperature. And it's going to make sure it keeps below that temperature, and while it's doing that, it's going to alert parents and authorities. Okay. Um, is it on the market yet? Can I buy it, Bishop? Not yet, but soon. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a fine young capitalist, Bishop. Let's talk to Mom for a second whilst you have a drink of whatever it is you've got going there. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, have you. Uh, it's not on the market yet, but you invented this, Tia, correct? Yes. Tia, correct? <laughs> okay, okay. Now, how does, how does it actually work? It's got a sensor on it, I take it, so the temperature gets to a certain level and all hell breaks loose? Is that right? Yes, it has a, a temperature monitor on it, and um, once the car is at a certain degree and it detects there is a person in the car, then, um, then it starts to cool. He has a, a fanning cooling system, and it starts to cool the car, and it simultaneously uh, alerting the parents and uh, giving the parents a certain amount of time to respond before alerting the uh, authorities. Where do you think you might have this uh, available for sale? Um, like the patent office says it would be available, available within a year, except that was like written in like, I don't know, like. You probably got about. Four more months before four you get an answer. Four more months before I get an answer. <laughs> so, wait a minute. You've applied for a patent. Hmm. Yes, I have. Yeah, that's when it gets patented in four more months. Okay. And you've got a patent lawyer to see you through this because it's a pretty arduous process. Yes. <laughs> right. uh, Tia, what is he drinking? You want to tell me that? <laughs> He's trying to get him to put it down. He's drinking hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you persuaded him to get in the studio? You give him a, a, a drink of hot chocolate to entice him in? Is that how you did it? <laughs> uh, no. He... I just come in, but then I just ask for hot chocolate. <laughs> okay. yeah, for hot chocolate. Our green room is pretty well stocked, I've got to tell you. Yeah. All right, Tia, last one is for you. If you get the patent and if you put it on the market, how much? How much are you going to charge? Um... Bishop wants to keep the prices really reasonable, so uh, most families, if not all families, can afford it. So sure. we're looking for under $50. Well, excellent. I think it's a great product. I hope you get the patent. And when you do, <laughs> come on the show, and we'll give you some pre-publicity. And that's a fact. That's what we will do. Bishop and Tia awesome. Curry, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. And good luck, by the way, okay? Good luck. Uh, all right. Thank you. Good luck on the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. <laughs> no, he's great. Tia, don't shake your head. That young man is just fine. Fine and dandy. Thank yeah, you very much indeed. <laughs>